Hi, my name is Brendan, and today I thought I'd show off something that I made called Noise Dystopia Machine. It's a series of free Photoshop actions that you can use to turn a photo or an image or a drawing into something that looks Xeroxed and photocopy it and just have a grungy look to it. I use it in my professional workflow as an artist. I'll leave a link to where you can get it in the description below. But today I thought I'd show how to use it and some use cases for it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So firstly, here's a straight up uh, application of it. I got this image from unsplash.com, which is a place where you can find a lot of images that are good for both non-commercial and commercial usage. So you just go to window, you go to actions, and it will bring up the actions panel. And you can see here that there's a bunch of stuff here for noise dystopia machine. If you don't have this, just go here, uh, hit load actions, and just copy in the file from the itch page. It's very small, it's like 6KB or 7KB, but yeah, it's very lightweight. Anyway, after you load that in, you should be able to see this. So there's two methods of using Noise Dystopia Machine. One is processing and one is by texturing. So to do the basic process, you just hit on the process, you hit play, and it will spit out something in a few seconds. There you go. It generates it as a smart object. So if you click it, you'll see that your entire layer structure is kept inside. What that means is that it is non-destructive and you can basically modify it after the fact. So I'm just going to create a new layer here. I'm just going to, uh, I don't know, smudge it. Give it some horns maybe. There you go. It's pretty okay. I'm going to save that. So you can go to the original image in the tab up here and you can see that it's been modified. You can see the horns. Uh, it's a bit dark. So what I tend to do is I tend to use a levels adjustment like so. And I tend to adjust it so it's just right. So I'm just going to save that and go back to the original image and there you go, that's a lot easier to see. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can do with this. Uh, for example, you can sew his eyes shut. I'm just going to you know, draw in a few lines here and I'm not even using a tablet at this point. I'm just using my mouse to draw in a few lines here and there. Uh, save that. Yeah, that's not that visible. You can always adjust the levels from there as well. Uh, keep adjusting them until you get something that looks correct and it's easy to go back and forth and just edit it that way so yeah this is pretty good for photo bashing uh, as you can tell in quite a short amount of time without even using a tablet i've been able to get something that looks like this of course you could also add other stuff to it uh, let's just add maybe some kind of texture to it let's search for some wires maybe uh, this looks okay i think so I'm just going to drag this in, plop it in there, yep, set this on overlay. And right now it looks terrible, I'm going to actually lower the opacity a little bit. But you get surprising results from doing stuff like this. I'm just going to go back to the original image and see what we got. We got something that looks kind of cool actually. At least I think it looks kind of cool. So yeah, this one use case for it, uh, and I forgot to mention, you can also hit the black and white button uh, here to be able to get a better idea of what your image is going to look like so that you don't have to keep going back and forth you get a general idea of what it looks like from here but the process will actually turn it just black and white so these other process buttons basically have different presets for the same process so here's an example that i had on the itch page uh, this is the original image and you can see that the different processes basically look quite different so you can look at this for a uh, reference Texture looks very, very different, and I'll go over that next. So using the same example, I'm just going to work on this file here. So I saved it up, and now I'm just going to use the texturing action. Uh, it should be mentioned that with the texturing action, you have to call the black and white action first, otherwise it's going to look weird. I'll showcase what that looks like, actually. If I hit the texture risograph action and I hit play, you'll see it kind of it kind of looks cool, actually, but it is not exactly what we want. So you want the black and white underneath the risograph texture or risograph i'm never sure how you say it but you can see it has a very different effect to it so the way the texture generation works is it will actually make the texture based on the resolution so you can do this in any kind of resolution on any kind of canvas and if you don't think that the texture grains are large enough you can 
uh, grab that you can scale it up if you want um and just before and after you can see that that looks very different it has a different vibe to it depending on what the image is and what kind of vibe i'm trying to go for i tend to adjust this quite a bit so i'm just going to disable the texture i'm going to show what a noise texture looks like i'm just going to play that and you can see that i'm not sure if you can see it actually but a noise texture has a very different feel from the risograph texture it looks a lot more digital while the risograph texture has this kind of soft quality to it depends on what you're doing a lot of the time i switch between both i try to make the grains larger or smaller and it can result in a lot of cool different effects but yeah that's the basic overview of a noise dystopia machine for photo bashing and for photos you can also use it for drawings actually so let me just start up a new canvas here we'll go with a uh, a4 sure why not and we'll just create a little drawing i'm going to grab my tablet pen here and start drawing on my tablet so i'm just going to draw like a face or something shouldn't take too long but right now it looks very rough it looks uh very kind of painterly and you might want to go for that kind of vibe it depends on what you're going for again all of this kind of depends on what you're going for i'm trying to just draw a small little face here i think uh maybe that'll do so you can basically use this to inkify your painting or drawing or whatever so i'm just gonna hit the process default let's see what we get so that looks interesting but we can probably adjust the levels a bit more again it's all about adjusting the levels to get a texture that you like and a darkness level that you like so yeah that's looking pretty cool i'm just gonna adjust it a little bit more you can really give a punk rock or a zine looking uh aesthetic to your images it's pretty fun to try it on your existing art as well here's a frog i painted up a couple years back i'm just gonna process it uh maybe make it a bit lighter yeah i'd say that looks pretty good and of course you can also use the textures on these uh hit black and white first like i said before hit risograph or risograph and uh expand the grain to however much you want and you got something like this going on then of course you can adjust the levels and that looks pretty good too but yeah hopefully this has uh shown you guys how you can use noise dystopia machine in your art or photo bashing and i hope it helps you make your zines easier or make your kind of punk art style or metal style art easier again uh it's free which probably means i won't make much money off it but if you want to donate it's pay what you want you can basically give me a few bucks but what i'd prefer is that you go out there and start making cool stuff so uh yeah leave a rating on the itch page comment on it show your creations i'd love to see them and um if you want and you like this video uh hit like and subscribe but you know only if you want to if you don't want to don't i'm not your dad but yeah in summary i think this is one of the most useful tools i've made thus far and i would love for more people to start using this and just sharing what they've made so that's all for me goodbye